We're in the Heights in Houston to surprise five small business owners who have no idea that they're a part of this year's top 20 finalists in the HEB Quest for Texas Best. HEB started in 1905 in Kerrville, Texas. Florence Butt opened our very first grocery store with $60 in a prayer and a need to support her family. Back then, there was no other way to do business other than by looking to your neighbors. So in essence, that's what the Quest for Texas Best still is. If you sell it in Texas and it belongs on HEB shelves, we want to know about it. Because for us, it's all about Texans doing business with Texans. It's basically our way of making everybody's dreams come true. All right, we're all set up and ready. In fact, these contestants could be anywhere in the store right now. Behind this curtain are your finalists. Hey, y'all, guess what? We have a one calorie cookie, which is all natural ingredients, and it's uh, the perfect snack for the sweet tooth. What does it mean to see your product on shelves oh, there? It's, it's just unbelievable because we've been planning all this throughout the, the year and suddenly we get, we get this. It's just amazing. Now you know it's Vietnamese is a plant-based superfood company. We made it out of the inspiration of my mother's recipe. We named it after my son Noah. It feels wonderful and extraordinary. To be in this position and to be considered as one of the finalists, it's just overwhelming, overwhelming. I am married to a fourth generation Nicaraguan coffee farmer and we grow the beans down there and we import them here into Houston and my brother takes over and does the roasting here locally. <laughs> <laughs> it's thrilling. Yeah. I mean, it, this is so exciting. We are Statesman Beverage Company. We make simple syrups that are cocktail mixers. So they're craft cocktails made simple. Today was a huge shock and surprise. We had no idea. This feels wonderful to be a finalist this far in. It's really yeah. great. It's overwhelming and humbling. Yeah. It's so exciting. So we make a creamy cilantro sauce called Diablo Verde. A portion of the proceeds are donated to the International Rhino Foundation to stop the illegal poaching of rhinos. So our motto is Eat Diablo, Eat Diablo save rhinos. <laughs> How does it feel? It's, it's amazing. All of us have gone to bed with burnt fingers from making saws, broken backs, a lot of farmers markets and festivals, and we've done it together. And to have, um, you know, to be in business with your boys. And then, you know, to say, boys, we're going to do this, and someday we're going to be at HEB. Like, that's, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Wow, what a day. Houston's got it all, from coffee to ramen, simple syrup to a one calorie cookie, and of course some delicious hot sauce. We're on to the next city to see what they've got to offer.